Welcome Autocar India viewers to this week's quick news. Before we start the news, we would like to remind you that if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, you are missing out on some great content. So please do and make sure the bell icon is active so you can be up to date with our content. Now, the Auto Expo 2023 is just days away, and a lot of news about cars that are going to be exhibited is surfacing in the lead up to the expo. So let's first take a look at the latest updates from the Auto Expo 2023. Starting the list is BYD or Build Your Dreams. Reports say that the EV-only Chinese brand will be showcasing the all-new Seal sedan for the first time in India at the Auto Expo. The Seal is BYD's answer to the Tesla Model 3 and beats it in every way in terms of dimensions. The Seal's exterior design is inspired by the Ocean X concept from 2021 and follows BYD's Ocean Aesthetics design language. It features some radical design details like a coupe-like all-glass roof, flush-fitting door handles, Four boomerang-shaped LED daytime running lights, split headlamp design, and a full-width LED light bar at the rear. Inside, just like the Auto 3 and the E6, the BYD Seal also gets a rotating 15.6-inch infotainment display in the center console, with the driver getting a 10.25-inch digital instrument cluster and a head-up display. The floating touchscreen is flanked by the central AC vents, with the drive selector and a scroll wheel to select the various drive modes below it. The center console also houses basic controls for functions like heated windscreens, volume control for the audio system, as well as two wireless charging pads. The seal is based on BYD's e-platform 3.0 and uses their Blade battery tech. On the China light duty vehicle test cycle or CLTC cycle, the seal's two battery packs offer a range of 550 kilometers from the 61.4 kilowatt hour unit and 700 kilometers from the 82.5 kilowatt hour unit. The sedan also gets a choice of a single motor and a dual motor powertrain. The seal is claimed to be capable of a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of under 6 seconds. Apart from the seal, BYD will also display the Auto 3 and the E6 MPV at the Auto Expo 2023. Hyundai is planning to go big at the upcoming Auto Expo 2023. The much-awaited Ioniq 5 EV crossover will be launched at the Auto Expo, and the Ioniq 6 EV will also be another attraction. Additionally, the brand could also showcase a concept previewing its future subcompact SUV that will go on sale in the second half of 2023. We have talked about the Ioniq 5 in detail in our previous videos. We also have walk-around videos from the launch event as well as a first drive video. So if you want to know more, you can check them out on our channel. Some of the highlight features of the Ioniq 5 include a single motor rear wheel drive setup, a power output of 217 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque and a 72.6 kilowatt hour battery pack with an ARAI certified range of 631 kilometers. The Ioniq 5 supports super fast 800 watt charging which can charge the battery from 10% to 80% in 18 minutes. It is also capable of power output meaning it can charge other electric appliances. From the Ioniq 5, we move on to Hyundai's latest Ioniq 6 EV, which is their third EV offering built on the same eGMP skateboard architecture that underpins the Kia EV6 and the Ioniq 5. The design of the Ioniq 6 is highly reminiscent to the Prophecy concept, which is also showcased at the previous Auto Expo. The Ioniq 6, which is a full-size sedan, gets a distinct swooping design with multiple creases, and the brand claims that with all its design elements, it has a drag coefficient of just 0.2 cd. Speaking of dimensions, it closely matches the Tesla Model 3, Polestar 2, and the BMW i4 in size, which is also sold here. The Ioniq 6 comes with two battery size options: the entry-level 53 kWh and the larger 77 kWh. The single-motor rear-wheel drive setup is standard across the range, with the higher variants getting a dual-motor all-wheel drive option as well. The Ioniq 6 dual motor makes 320 horsepower and 605 newton meters, which is the same as the Ioniq 5, while the rear-wheel drive setup churns out 222 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. In terms of WLTP certified range, the Ioniq 6 does 429 kilometers for the rear-wheel drive 53 kilowatt-hour version, 614 for the rear-wheel drive with a 77.4 kilowatt-hour battery, while the all-wheel drive does 583 kilometers. Hyundai will also showcase another alternative fuel technology car, the Nexo Fuel Cell Electric Vehicle or FCEV SUV at the Auto Expo. The Nexo, a mid-size SUV, is powered by a fuel cell stack. Chemical reactions within each cell between the hydrogen which is stored on board in three tanks and oxygen from the atmosphere generate electricity that is used to power the Nexo's electric motor. The only byproduct of this reaction is water. The Nexo's three hydrogen tanks have a combined capacity of 156.6 liters, enabling a 666 km range in the WLTP cycle. More impressively, unlike EVs, the Nexo can be topped up in just 5 minutes. The Nexo is powered by a front wheel mounted electric motor that makes equivalent to 161 horsepower and 395 newton meters of torque. 
For the first time since 2018, Kia will be bringing the Sorento SUV back to be showcased at the upcoming Auto Expo. The current fourth generation Sorento was unveiled globally in 2020 and is positioned between the Sportage and its flagship Telluride SUV. Kia is bringing this more as a branding exercise and to judge customers' reaction. The Sorento's exterior design is akin to the Kia family with styling cues such as a signature tiger nose grille that merge with the three-pod LED headlamps with tiger eyeline LED DRLs. The Sorento has a typical tall and upright SUV stance that's accentuated by the flared wheel arches. It gets vertical LED tail lamps and a sharply sculpted tailgate at the rear. On the inside, the Sorento bears a very close resemblance to the Sonnet in India. It gets a high-mounted, 10.25-inch central infotainment system with vertical AC vents and a stack of H-back controls positioned below. Like in the Sonnet, the infotainment system is connected to the instrument binnacle that houses a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. The center console features an array of buttons, a rotary dial, a drive-selected lever, and storage spaces too. Other noteworthy features include Kia's UVO-connected car tech, 64-color ambient lighting, panoramic sunroof, 360-degree cameras, and a 12-speaker Bose sound system. It also gets ADAS features with level 2 autonomous driving technology in the international markets. If Kia decides to launch the Sorento in India, it'll go up against the likes of the Jeep Meridian and the Škoda Kodiak. Kia's display at the Auto Expo 2023 is not just limited to the Sorento. Like we had reported in our previous videos, Kia will also be showcasing the 4th generation Carnival and the EV9 concept SUV. Earlier, we had reported that MG Motors will be showcasing the MG4 electric hatchback at the Auto Expo 2023. Now, we've also learned that the company will be showcasing a new concept previewing of the Air City EV along with the MG6 sedan and the MG5 electric estate. Additionally, MG will also announce prices for the midlife facelift of the Hector and the Hector Plus at the upcoming motor show. One of the most important models that will be showcased by MG will be the two-door Air EV that the company will preview in concept guise. MG was originally expected to showcase the production spec Air AV at the Auto Expo, but a close to production concept is what we'll actually get to see. MG is expected to announce prices in the first quarter of 2023. The MG Air AV is sold abroad under the brand of Wuling. It measures just 2.9 meters in length and will be positioned as a tech laden urban commuter at a more affordable end of the EV spectrum, but will cater to a niche audience. The Air EV is expected to have a 200 to 250 km range on a single charge. The MG6 is a Škoda Octavia sized sedan that is offered in the Middle Eastern and South Asian countries. It's underpinned by a platform from the parent company SAIC and is offered with a sole powertrain option, a 169 horsepower, 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine made it to a 7 speed DCT gearbox. However, the newer versions of the MG6 with a new design language and a plug-in hybrid powertrain that is sold in China is unlikely to be showcased at the Auto Expo. The MG5 is a cadence sized electric estate that's on sale in markets like the UK and Europe. It comes with a 61 kilowatt hour battery that offers a claimed range of 402 kilometers and is powered by a 156 horsepower electric motor. The five-seater estate is known for its practicality and easy driving manners. Although, as far as EVs are concerned, the MG5 lacks some flash in terms of styling, but makes up for it in tech and features, including ADAS, and also practicality with a larger size boot. To mark their first attendance at the Auto Expo, Toyota is planning something big. Apart from the Innova and the Land Cruiser LT300, Toyota is set to showcase its range of strong hybrid models, a plug-in hybrid, a fuel cell electric vehicle, a flex fuel hybrid, pure EVs, and a hydrogen concept technology. Toyota has not yet cleared the air on the exact models, but we speculate that the new Prius, the Mirai fuel cell electric vehicle, and the Corolla flex fuel hybrid, which Toyota had brought to India just a few months ago, could make their appearances. Toyota's trump card at the Auto Expo would be a GR model, the Corolla GR to be more specific. Toyota has not yet confirmed an Indian launch for the Corolla GR, so the showcasing might just be to gauge customers' interest. The GR Corolla is based on the standard Corolla hatchback that is sold abroad, but has been heavily reworked by Toyota's Gazoo Racing or GR performance division. Over the standard Corolla, the GR features extra wells around the chassis joints and more extensive use of structural adhesive between various components. At 1,474 kg curb weight, it's also much lighter than the standard hatchback with extensive use of lightweight materials. But honestly, it's a GR model. So the best part is what's under the hood. The hatchback is packing a 1.6-litre, three-cylinder, single-scroll turbocharged engine. The engine is capable of producing 304 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. To put things into a better perspective, the engine of the GR Corolla makes almost the same figures as the Mercedes-AMG A35, but the AMG has a larger 2-litre engine. 
The GR engine comes mated to a 6-speed manual gearbox with power sent to all four wheels. The gearbox also has a rev matching function that allows for smoother gear shifts. The interior also gets motorsport inspired changes including a leather trimmed GR steering wheel, GR badge seats and aluminium pedals. Aside from the GR Corolla, Toyota could also take the Auto Expo as an opportunity to launch the Urban Cruiser High Rider CNG, bookings for which are already underway for a token amount of 25,000 rupees. Now those were the latest car news from the upcoming motor show. If you head over to our website, you can find a list of all the manufacturers and the cars that we know of that will be on display at the Auto Expo 2023. Moving on to other news. After the implementation of the upcoming RDE norms, from April 2023, Honda will only have two models on sale in India. The models will be the petrol-powered City along with its hybrid version and the Amaze. Honda will pull the plug on models like the Jazz, WRV as well as the fourth generation City and the Amaze and City Diesel. Honda is looking to launch a new SUV for the Indian market. Honda's new SUV will rival the likes of the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara and also the Toyota Urban Cruiser Highrider. The SUV is expected to make its debut in mid of 2023 and will likely go on sale during the festive season of this year. We have very little information about the upcoming Honda SUV. As a matter of fact, not even camouflage sightings have been reported thus far. But what we do know is that the SUV will measure around 4.2 to 4.3 meters in length and will be based on the updated version of the platform used by the Amaze in India. What we also know is that the SUV will come with the same 121 horsepower 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine from the 5th gen city. Higher spec trims could also be offered with a 1.5 liter strong hybrid petrol powertrain seen on the city EHEV as well. Honda is yet to make its mark in the SUV segment in India, but from the information we have on our hands, it looks like the upcoming SUV is capable of putting up a tough fight. It also helps that Honda is planning high levels of localization for the upcoming SUV, which would help in pricing it more competitively. Kia is readying a new, compact lifestyle SUV that will be launched in the price bracket between 12 lakhs and 24 lakh rupees. This as yet unnamed SUV, that is internally codenamed as AY, will be a grounds up sub 4 meter vehicle and will sit between the Seltos and the Sonnet in the Kia India lineup. Sources tell us that the SUV will have a tall, boxy design and will most likely have a tough SUV-like presence which will distinguish it from the Seltos and the Sonnet which have more crossover-ish design. The AY with its tall stance is expected to be roomier and more spacious and therefore address one of the Sonnet's biggest weakness of poor legroom at the rear. We are also told that the new SUV will take design inspiration from the Kia Soul, a highly successful model for Kia overseas. Company sources have hinted that the Kia AY SUV will come with ICE as well as EV powertrain options. The ICE variants are likely to be powered by a sole 1 litre turbo petrol engine. They won't come with proper 4 wheel drive capabilities and will be based on the existing Sonnet's front wheel drive running gear. However, it's likely that the higher end EV variants could get an additional electric motor at the rear. Sources tell us the Kia India plans to produce close to 1 lakh units of the Kia AY SUV annually, with 80% volumes coming from the petrol version while the balance contribution will come from the EV derivative. These volumes include allocations for RHD overseas markets too. Mercedes has launched the AMG E53 4Matic Plus Cabriolet at a next showroom price starting from 1.3 crore rupees. The E53 Cabriolet is essentially the two-door four-seater convertible version of the E53 sedan. However, this is the first time Mercedes is bringing the more powerful AMG avatar of the E-Class convertible to the country. Like its sedan counterpart, the Mercedes AMG A53 Cabriolet is powered by a 435 horsepower, 520 Nm, 3 litre turbocharged petrol engine. It comes paired to an integrated starter generator that puts out an additional 21 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. Additionally, it gets dynamic select driving modes and AMG's Ride Control Plus air suspension. The power is sent to all four wheels via a 9-speed automatic transmission and the car maker says that the Cabriolet can sprint from 0 to 100 in 4.6 seconds. The top speed is electronically limited to 250 km an hour. In terms of design, the E53 Cabriolet looks similar to the sedan from the front and like other AMG models, it gets a signature AMG Pan American grille and sportier front bumpers. In profile, the E53 Cabriolet adorns a relatively plain design with a subtle belt line. However, the real talking point is a drop-top silhouette with a two-door layout. The India spec models comes with 19-inch alloy wheels as standard and five color options. The fabric roof, on the other hand, can be had in four color options. At the rear, the E53 Cabriolet features sleek horizontal tail lamps and quad exhausts. The interior of the E53 Cabriolet looks largely similar to the E53 sedan, with the highlight being the twin screen setup for the instrument cluster and the infotainment screen. 
Maruti Suzuki has announced prices for the Grand Vitara CNG which is available in mid-spec Delta and Zeta trims. Prices for the Grand Vitara CNG start at 12.85 lakh rupees for the Delta while the Zeta costs 14.84 lakh rupees ex showroom in Delhi. With the introduction of the CNG powertrain, the Grand Vitara becomes the first SUV in its segment to offer a factory fitted CNG kit. The Maruti Grand Vitara CNG comes with a 1.5 litre K15 engine that produces 88 horsepower and 121.5 Nm of torque in CNG spec. In petrol only mode, this engine produces 103 horsepower and 136 Nm of torque. The sole gearbox on offer on the Grand Vitara CNG is a 5 speed manual. The Grand Vitara has a claimed fuel efficiency of 26.6 km per kilogram in CNG mode. To put things into a better perspective, the Beleno CNG delivers 30.61 km per kilogram. Apart from a CNG badge on the exterior, there are no cosmetic changes on the SUV. The equivalent mild hybrid petrol variants of the Grand Vitara cost 11.9 lakh rupees for the Delta and 13.89 lakh rupees for the Zeta, which means the CNG variants are more expensive by 95,000 rupees. Maruti Suzuki says that the Grand Vitara CNG can also be had by a monthly subscription which starts at 30,723 rupees. BMW has launched the all-new 7 Series and the i7 in India. We've talked about it in our other videos and we have the first drive video on our channel. So do check that out. But for now, here is a list of all the specifications and features of the brand new 7 Series and its electric counterpart, the i7. Now, moving on to bike news. Here is what you can expect to see at the Auto Expo 2023. Starting the list is Stock Motors having announced that it'll showcase its next generation e-motorcycle at the 2023 Auto Expo. Details about the new e-bike are still not known, but the said bike could likely be built on a completely new platform or be a more premium version of the Kratos R. It is likely that the new generation Torque bike may also feature a modern instrument cluster, more power, better battery range and faster charging capabilities. Talk Motors will showcase the updated Kratos R electric motorcycle sporting new and improved aesthetics, which means it will receive a few cosmetic tweaks and may get new features. With the recent unveiling of its highly anticipated motorcycle, Matter Energy will announce the name and the price of the bike at the Auto Expo 2023. Besides launching its first electric motorcycle, Matter Energy will also showcase a few concepts that will offer a glimpse into the company's future EVs. Ultraviolet will showcase its newly launched F77 electric motorcycle at the event. The Ultraviolet F77 is currently the most expensive electric motorcycle in the market, with prices of the top-end variant going up to 4.55 lakh rupees. The LML brand announced a comeback in an all-electric avatar and the company will display the Star Maxi scooter and the Moonshot electric motorcycles at the expo. The LML Moonshot is a pedal-assisted e-bike with supermoto-like styling. Its portable battery is housed at the front of the belly section and the motor seems to be integrated at the rear wheel hub. The e-bike gets two power modes, Surge and City with a top speed of 70 km per hour. The LML Star electric Maxi scooter features a mid-mounted motor that sends power to the rear wheels via a belt drive system. Benelli will showcase the Leoncino 800, which recently received an updated chassis and suspension. Benelli will also showcase the 752S Street Naked Motorcycle, and also showcases existing range of motorcycles including the 502C and the TRK range. Keyway will showcase the SR250, the 250cc version of the SR125 Retro Scrambler that was launched recently in India. But the real showstopper would be the brand's flagship LFC700. The low-slung cruiser has quite a menacing stance with a beefy fuel tank and sleek tail section. The bike is powered by a 680cc four-cylinder engine in two versions, 84.5 horsepower and 92.5 horsepower. The bike with the latter engine tune also gets better specs in the form of a slipper clutch and Brembo brakes. The Bender BD500 Cruiser, on the other hand, also looks promising. This cruiser is powered by a 496cc V4 mill that produces 56.3 horsepower at 10,000 rpm and 45 Nm of torque at 8,000 rpm. Zontes already has five bikes on sale in India and it plans to target buyers in the lower segments by unveiling four bikes in the 200cc class. In addition, they will also showcase maxi scooters in the 350cc range. Italian brand Motoboline Passione, now under Chinese ownership, will be launched at the Auto Expo and will have two bikes on display. The bikes in question will be the 486cc parallel twin engine M502N and the 997cc V twin engine C1002V. However, MBP has not confirmed the launch of the C1002V in India. Q1 
QJ Motors recently forayed into the Indian market and launched the SRC 250 and the SRC 500 Retros, the SRK 400 Street Fighter and the SRV 300 Cruiser. These bikes will be on display at the event. Along with that, the company will also showcase three 125cc bikes. In addition, there will be a fared version of the SRK 400 on display as well. With that out of the way, let's move on to other bike news. Good news for Ducati fans, as the brand is gearing up to launch as many as 9 new bikes in India and inaugurate 2 new showrooms in Chandigarh and Ahmedabad this year. The company has revealed prices for all its new 2023 models, but it states that they are indicative and may change as and when the bikes are launched through the year. Ducati will commence 2023 in India with deliveries of the recently launched Desert X Adventure bike, followed by the launch of the 15.95 lakh rupee Monster SP, the more track-oriented variant of the Monster, in the second quarter of the year. The theme of the track-focused bikes continues with the launch of the 999cc Pinagale V4R, priced at 69.99 lakh rupees. The range-topping Street Fighter V4 SP2 will be next in line and will command a price of 35.33 lakh rupees. Next, we have the all-new Diavol V4, priced at 25.91 lakh rupees, both to be launched in the third quarter of 2023. The fourth quarter of 2023 will see the 29.72 lakh rupee Multistrada V4 Rally, followed by the updated Ducati Scrambler line, which consists of the Icon, Full Throttle and Night Shift variants. The final launch of this year will be the ultra-exclusive limited edition Ducati Street Fighter V4 Lamborghini, which will feature actual Lamborghini paint and a host of bespoke parts. The Street Fighter V4 Lamborghini is priced at 72 lakh rupees, making it the most expensive Ducati when it goes on sale later this year. In a bid to accelerate its move into the electric vehicle space, Aisha Motors, the parent company of Royal Enfield, has approved a strategic investment in European electric motorcycle manufacturer Stock Future SL. As part of the deal, Aisha Motors will make an initial investment of £50 million or 439 crore rupees, translating to a 10.35% equity stake in Stock Future SL. With this investment, Aisha Motors will have a seat on Stock Future's board and will explore further opportunities to collaborate in the space of electric mobility. This investment will pave way to a long-term partnership in collaborative R&D in electric motorcycles, technology sharing, technical licensing and manufacturing for Aisha Motors. Royal Enfield will support Stark in the industrialization process and will draw on capabilities of Stark in lightweight components and innovative solutions in developing its own EV platforms. Both the companies may also plan to share EV architecture in the future. Stark Future recently launched its first high-performance electric motocross bike, the Stark VARG which received an exceptional response from global media, professional riders and dealers. That marks the end of this week's news. Thank you all for watching and join us next week with more quick news.